What is up YouTube? It's your boy Johnny A. I'm back at you guys with another video today. So today I wanted to talk about a couple things I've been doing to save a little bit of extra money a month. A couple bucks has been helping me a lot. I've been seeing some results uh, with what I've been doing. Now keep in mind I'm not a financial advisor so these are just some things if you want to try out to see if they work for you then definitely try them out. If you don't want to then that's fine as well. So obviously I like saving and investing money. Um, I've been trying some of these things out. So number one is obviously not spending on useless things. I haven't really been spending a lot of money on shoes or clothes that I really don't need. Um, I have a lot of clothes already and uh, so half of the time I don't even wear because I'm always working. So I've been trying to cut back on buying uh, new shoes or uh, clothes, shirts, pants, whatever the case may be. Uh, I would say think twice before actually purchasing a new pair of shoes unless you really need it. Um, if you need new clothes, and yeah, I mean, if you really need it, definitely buy it. But if you don't, if you could put that money instead in your savings account or in your investment portfolios, I would highly recommend doing that instead. So it's all in the mind. If you really um, think about it twice, then you're most likely you won't buy it because half of the time you really don't need uh, you know, the new phone or the new pair of shoes or maybe the new, sh uh, new, uh, I don't know, like some, I know for girls, they need new purses, new, uh, new hats, new shoes, whatever the case may be. It's different for everybody, but that's something I've been doing. I've been cutting back a lot of my spending on buying materialistic things. So that's number one. Uh, number two is I've been st starting to take lunch to work. So this has helped me tremendously. I've been going grocery shopping. I've been buying my own lunch. I've been packing my own lunch. Uh, I might have a day or two throughout the week where I do buy out. And that's just to treat myself because that's something I put in. That's something I like to do. Now, some people might just do it once a week or, or three times a week. Whatever the case may be, taking lunch to work definitely helps you save a couple of bucks a month. I used to buy lunch every single day and I've noticed that I would spend like 50 bucks a week, sometimes $100 a week, especially if I go out with my family, I would spend more money. But um, taking lunch to work has helped me save a good amount of money a month and I've seen the results for that. So definitely start taking lunch to work if you can. I highly recommend it. All right, so number three would be to stop going out a lot. Now, this plays a role into shopping um, stop going shopping so much stop going uh, out to eat uh, cut back on spending more money on going out to eat and uh, like this like I said this goes back to step uh, the first the first thing uh, on spending on money your money on on shoes and clothes you got to start going out so much every weekend as well if you go to the bars uh, buying alcohol all these kinds of things eventually add up every single month and you don't even notice it because you're spending, spending, spending. Yeah, you're having a good time, but in the end, it's really not benefiting benefiting you in, in the future because you're spending all this money now and uh, you're you're not really paying for your you're not paying for your future self to reap the benefits later on. So uh, I would say cut back if you can. Uh, on the weekends, I normally work. If I have a, a day off during the weekend, then I'll use uh, spend it going to the gym or I'll, uh, I'll look at other things I could do. Maybe make another video, make more videos. Uh, I'll go out with friends once in a while, but I'm not going out as frequently and not spending out so much. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find other ways to make money when I can. So uh, cut back on going out if you can. So uh, number four would be get rid of useless things like memberships if you're not going to the gym cut that off if you're what if you have a netflix uh, me, uh subscription fee every month cut that off if you're not even using it uh amazon prime hulu all these things that you you probably not even using every month i would suggest cutting them all off instead putting that money into your savings or investment portfolios now think about it, $20 a month. Uh, I know like some things like uh, I have uh, YouTube music, so I pay $10 a month for that, but I use it. 
So that's a, that's different. If I wasn't using it, I would definitely cut it off. I uh, I ended up cutting off. I remember I had Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. I ended up cutting that off. I had Adobe Premiere. I got rid of that as well because I wasn't even using these things and I was paying it every single month and I was just throwing money away. So instead of putting that and throwing that money away, I'm now putting it into my savings and into my investments and uh, it's been helping me a lot. So um, I think that's about it guys as for, as for now. Um, I, I feel like I'm missing some, some things, but these are just a couple of things that have helped me save a couple of bucks and I've been seeing the benefits of it every single month so uh one other thing i would say uh try to get rid of debt uh whatever debts you may have maybe a credit card debt car payment uh maybe you owe somebody try to pay all these things off as quick as possible because that's also um that's also backtracking you from saving as much money and investing more money into your savings and investment portfolios so uh, definitely try to get rid of debt. That's probably the worst thing um, anybody can have. Obviously, a house is different because uh, a mortgage isn't cheap, and you obviously need a lot of money to pay off a mortgage. But uh, if you have a car payment, try to pay off the car as quick as you can because on top of that, you're paying interest. If you got credit card debt, definitely as well try to get rid of all of that. The uh, credit cards also charge interest, and that's making you pay more money over time so get rid of those things and i promise you you'll see a better better savings account for you and an investment portfolio for you in the long run so that's a just those are just a couple of things um that have been helping me and i hope if you guys uh got something out of that you guys could definitely try them out and see if they work for you so if you're new to the channel uh definitely hit the subscribe button to follow me on my investment journey with acorns with crypto um, I try to give out some videos like this on how to save a couple bucks a month and some advice that I've learned. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button to, su to support the video. Leave me your comments below. I always appreciate all the support and the love that you guys give me. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.